Welcome, everyone. Am I visible? To mm -mm. fate. We got all kinds no, of you're wealth. Not. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think we got like three angles of wealth. I don't really have a good way to. I mean, the little. Do you have like a bandana? I'll do like GoPro. <laughs> <laughs> that side. You have like two shots the, of bend, now. Bend the uh, Hang on. middle of it a little bit. I'm working on it <coughs> right now. Sorry, guys. We're doing a little bit of... We're still getting used to the new location. Oh, or that. That's the wrong way. But <laughs> Push it out towards us. Push the middle towards us. Push the middle towards us. There you go. Well, that well, that's work. showing... Yes. No, that yeah. Yeah. I, thought that, I thought that was working. Uh, that looks good. Hey, we see Bob. Oh, that's me. Cool. Just Bob. And um, this no. will give us... Yes. No me, no Melanie. That side. I'm fine with that. Uh, we need the uh, like, hangers <laughs> from the ceiling. With We're the still working on it. It's going to be okay. We're just going to roll with it. Because reasons. Uh, anyway. This is session 11. Explosives and parties. Part 4. Parties. And RuneScape. Now. <laughs> recap. I think so this for like 20 minutes. I think you're in that book. The group Next began place. right after disarming the bomb from the sewers. You went to the ad adamantium uh, coffer house, and then you found a bomb in the sexy badger tavern. Mm -hmm. Yes. Which I almost failed to disarm. Indeed. Uh, yes. That's that was a true. bad thing. Yes. Uh, <coughs> One then, more bad roll, I would have been dead. Then you all went to the university <laughs> tavern. <laughs> yeah, true. Who was it? Uh, an arcade spirit chill. Ooh. 11 mil. Uh, okay, sorry. No worries. <laughs> 11 mil. <laughs> okay, cool. That's a lot of cash. Our, uh, anyway, no. <laughs> clan leader. Go to search the university tower the drop space. Mm -hmm. Talk to the librarian. Uh, Told her what's going I gave her an info dump on what's going on. Yep, what? whose name gave him that. was missed the top part. Oh. I also missed the top part. Of and you began to search the cool. storage containers. Mm -hmm. the same. Outside of the That's university okay. tower, at which People point you were attacked by a series of cultists and two assassins who assassin. almost wiped out Crowley. And we taught them a lesson several times. <laughs> you were able to kill one, the other one called for the guards, and then he died too. I okay. found the warehouse. No, on fire. the other one's still alive. <laughs> you, I you, this bitch down. You killed, you killed there was the a one from, the, from the explosive crates being lit on fire from the one. <coughs> yeah, with his hot pockets. Ooh. Hot pockets. <laughs> yes. Uh, and we ended, if you recall. Hey, Melanie, That's he's got hot pockets, you got hairy pockets. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we ended with a couple of things happening. One was that uh, Quetzal went into a uh, trance. Trance. Midair. Midair, kind of floating. Uh, with glowy eyes, wow. and he That's encountered right. <laughs> basically an empty white space, like the hyperbolic time chamber, and uh, got to meet all of the ten Veil Lords who oversee the Veil. Um, and they said that he's ready now for what they have for him to do, which I will explain. Just a moment. Quiz. So you're just up there having like but, a seizure. But just outside fuck, of that, back down on the material uh, plane, back over Finn, here. Finn, yep, that's fine. I'll drink it. Finn, Finn and, and well, the Crowley oh, yeah. household. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, I'm gonna get a guess. Oh yeah, get I. <laughs> Finn and the Crowley household were summoned by Quetzal to go help search the university tower boxes. Mostly because his aura knows and to detect magic. When the guards were called, they ended up overtaking the Crowley family, and grossly outnumbered by guards, are being escorted to this space, which is where we start now. Um, and that's basically every member of the Crowley family that's at the circus. At the With the exception of my, I hope uh, my daughter. Uh, <coughs> Your daughter's there. Uh, <coughs> she's like seven. So wait. How, they, the didn't, family, they, like, didn't, huge? they didn't expect any huh? sort of crazy risk. Isn't the Crowley bomb. family like huge? Yeah. Do you have a they knew there was a bomb. Could they ever think the guards? Okay. Uh, we'll them? say, well, who would she have been left with? Probably one of the 
stagehands. Yeah, okay. so one true. of the people who set up the carnival. Fair enough. <clears throat> I don't know. So <laughs> that's why I we guess. start in the pocket dimension temporarily created by the Veil vale Lords to have a chat with Quetzal. Oh. Last time. <laughs> uh, the avian veil lord, or at least the avian skull veil lord. You have the, the the sort of impression that they can change that if they want to. It's just sort of an affectation to seem less it's all the scary, skulls. even though they have the skull heads, uh, which is still a little scary. Are you familiar with the veil? Nope. Kinda. You've heard you, stories. I've got siblings that <clears throat> know about it. You would have very minor knowledge about it. Yeah. Like you understand that it's it's sort of it maintains a balance uh, between life and death, and so more people are born, and increase in their own abilities and stuff. People die and return their energy to the veil. So, uh, from a lot of the uh, technos is sort of flowing throughout. Uh, as people die, you know, their energies return to that. And like the veil encompasses a lot of different places. Uh, basically, all of our town has a sort of veil space. Like different different planes, planes and stuff too, though, right? Those are just our different planes. planes also planes. have veil or veil light aspects. Yes. Um, and he says, uh, "In Alayfar, which you know is the big is the big coastal city on the west coast, there's a force that is." Gruesomely murdering people. Normally, not too problematic to the Veil Lords because that means they get more energy from the Veil. The problem is the energy is not going to the Veil, it's going somewhere else. Ooh. It's a mystery. They don't know where it's going or why it's going there. But the fact that that energy is not returning to the Veil means that the uh, that the veil in that space is weakening beginning to weaken okay. uh, let's see um, which is not so good for the balance of the boundary between which uh, or between which is locked oh gosh I don't know that <laughs> Were, were you totally that. sober? It's even tight. I got it, I got it. <laughs> Which is locked within the veil in the material plane. You have one month or 40 days, if you will. Uh, I'll, I'll take 40 days over that, that is a month. <laughs> a month. Okay. You have, a, you have 40 days Good try. To, <laughs> the longer one. to resolve this issue. Okay. Because if it is not handled before then, a rift will open, a tear in the veil, which allows certain unpleasant things to escape. It's going to all come across. Not so good. Come to bargain. Come to bargain. <laughs> you have heard uh, from, like, there were legends about the city of Bell Glaive that once had some pretty nasty open rifts in it. Mm -hmm. But the group yeah. Fate mm -hmm. dealt with it. Mm -hmm. And the city is now fairly prosperous. Yes, I, I've heard of the hero M and his party. <coughs> yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, M's he who slayed the tear ass before the shot. This, this rift is not large enough. Oh, yes. This rift is not large enough to um, fully open the seal. Uh oh. Easy. Now. Are you okay? Yep. <laughs> uh, but. <laughs> It will let some certain unpleasant things through. Okay. You're good. So we're just sitting there and watching them shake. No, I'm like, my eyes are glowing and I'm floating in the air. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, and like looking like a badass. All of this is happening in a different 
time span too, so he will return relatively quickly despite this lengthy conversation. Um, like the span of one hour. Like, whatever he comes out and says, we should believe him. Maybe two. Uh, Let him go by himself. Over time, the rift would break <coughs> until very bad things happen. Here's the thing. Most of the people being killed are what you could quantifiably call commoners. Which means that they don't really have a lot of energy to devote to this. Okay. But they're being killed in fairly large numbers, which leads to much more energy being stored away into something else. At the end of this 40-day period, here's where the bad news comes in. The end of the 40-day period, if this is not dealt with, your energy will be used to balance that section mm. of the veil. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Got it. You will be returned to death. Look at Brindo. <laughs> <laughs> you are going to die. Okay. If you don't kill. That's okay. You're going to be dead. Um, Back on the material plane, uh, the noise gets to be a bit ruckus, and you can hear, and Finn is, he's not, he doesn't look nervous, because these are just like regular guards. You could probably kill a great many I would say, it'd take more than a group to uh, take them down. Before it really became super problematic, but you kind of tagged along because you're like watching over the less uh, strong members of the Crowley family. Oh, yeah. Um, we don't want to stir up any trouble. <clears throat> um, no, and that's something the family would be used to, is protecting little kid, kids. Exactly. And the guards come up and they look so mad. The cultists are all dead. Yeah. One assassin is dead. The other one is still kind of hiding behind um, some of the crates. Oh yeah, yeah. Your family's at Crowley's family's at my point. Mm. There are approximately forty guards overseeing the the Crowley family at present. Like oh, there goes a lot of guards. Family. Yeah, whole bunch. At the head is an ogre, dressed as a guard, um, who kind of steps up and uh, says, We thick. Like, yeah. that's his name. Yeah, With two C's? Yeah. <laughs> so, no. wait, two C's? Two C's? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, you are. Yeah. All right. Last week. Then. Where? <coughs> where Crowley? There's a lot of them. Yeah, they're upstairs. You guys got all. Of them. As you say in your accent, that is <laughs> only like the Crowley accent. <laughs> there are a lot of them. <laughs> It's Shelly, is it me? Uh, we're going to sort of temporarily halt combat. Yeah. So you have this sort of play out. Would you call this a short rest? No. <laughs> Not in any way. Not in any way is this a short rest. It's a modicum of reprieve. Yeah. Which gains all our spells back, right? Do, do they look like <laughs> they've got what, like crossbows or any ranged weapons? Or they primarily he has... Okay. I'm, I'm saying the guards in general. Right, okay. Um, many of the guards do indeed have crossbows pointed, like heavy crossbows pointed at your thing. Right? Um, Thick himself has <laughs> Genevieve. You better put two C's on. Uh, <laughs> with, you know, you know, uh, kind of standing. He is just resting his, his massive hand on her shoulder and kind of keeping her close. She does not look very pleased and a little bit scared. Um, where are Crowley? Do you have a lot of the Crowley family? 
You're the only damsel there. Other than <laughs> <laughs> like, you Crowley. I never said that. What makes you think I am Crowley? He Crowley. <laughs> I am Crowley. Why is Crowley? There's a lot of evidence. What? How do you know that you are not Crowley? And I cast suggestion on him that, <laughs> <laughs> that he this is indeed fun. the Crowley that he's looking for. Wow. <laughs> right in front of everybody. Nice. Okay. Nice. <laughs> what is, is that a wisdom set? I believe so. <laughs> Let me look. What is the DC? Hold on. Let me check the save first. I will save. Come on. Okay. Uh-oh. Does it matter? Is this one yours? Yes. Cool. It was in a different drawer. No, oh, cool. You can have it. That's an old one. I know. Yeah, you can have it unless you don't want it. It's a wisdom saving throw. DC 16. 16. Ooh. Okay. Do you want to try and finish that one? Like there's... Um, so... Uh, Shouldn't you be arresting yourself if you're coming? A little over he half kind of, of my glass. He kind of like <laughs> zones out for a second. One. If you want to open a second, I'll split it with you. He's like, yeah. Crowley. I don't think I'm going to open a second. Right? Yes, indeed. Me, Crowley? That's not pretty much. You, <laughs> you think glass? Crowley. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, you introduced yourself. And uh, if you open a second, I'll open a little bit of it. A couple of the other guards. I want to have one of those. And I, I show him the guards. Go. He's in a disguise! The top one's really good. Give me a persuasion check with disadvantage. Fair enough. No, luck point. He has just no roll. No, you can add a d6 to his... I'll take it. To whatever his lowest roll is. Oh, that's all bad. Oh, that's not bad. <laughs> Fifteen. Fifteen. It's not bad. Yeah. It's not bad, but it's not enough either. Yeah. So... Two it's pretty, it's pretty high order too. Kind of sits down <laughs> and is having a real serious ex- existential crisis. <laughs> <laughs> like, me Crowley. No, me. And he like takes out <laughs> handcuffs and cuffs himself. <laughs> Take me away. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, <sighs> <laughs> no. Does my mother at least get out of the way? She's she's still kind of there, um, and one of the orc guards, who appears to be a little more intelligent, intelligent <laughs> than, than him, kind of steps up, um, grabs Genevieve's arm, and hits himself in the face with her hand, and says. This Deofool just attacked one of Sotus's guards. An attack on Sotus's guard is the same as an attack on Sotus himself. And did, did he do that in front of me? Yeah. You are a coward, and you will not fight me one-handed. <laughs> now, now, something's about to happen. Oh, I'm already getting ready. No, no. Something, a, a sort of substantial event is about to happen, and it can be affected by spending plot points. Cool. The question is, how many plot points mine. is Will everyone take. willing to spend? Oh, uh, no. I want to keep mine. I, to, I wanted to use mine to convince him to fight me in fisticuffs. I'll take a new one. Okay. So that's two. I will spend mine. Okay. Who else? Uh, Here's my last time on you. A new thing? Well, listen, <laughs> my last time we have, I'll have you. one plot point. Uh, and if you don't use it, it's gone. Usually. But it, it's... You don't need your <coughs> throw my voice in there. Yeah. <laughs> I'll use a point. Disembodied voice. Okay. Three points. That's good. Melanie, Corey? Not worth it. Okay. No. Need loot. I mean... I don't care about your mom's life. <laughs> 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 I don't care about your life. <laughs> Right Gains as, that's good. I'm also still in the, am I still in the veil thing? Uh, yes. Okay. So uh, I can have no effect. Yeah. Yeah. As, <coughs> that's okay, I mean, I'll still leave. No, I don't want to. Sort of no. <laughs> so just two. Excuse me. No, there's three still. No, three. Okay. I, I three. didn't use mine. That's right, that's right. Okay. So, right as the orc draws his, his greatsword to run it through Genevieve. 
a uh, small, a relatively <laughs> short, maybe five foot tall. Because some of you were like nine feet tall area. Uh, walks by. And she, she, she's in <laughs> relatively unassuming clothing. Um, she kind of looks and, and says, uh, and, and kind of like motions. And from around the corner of, of this building, steps. Very well dressed death elf. Uh, he has no hair on his head. Uh, he has a sort of wiry, curled mustache <laughs> and, a, and and a uh, something going on down here that has a lot of beads in it. <laughs> All right, Jack but, Sparrow, but it's not <coughs> much. Bald Jack Sparrow. And she kind of motions, and is like, I think there's a situation. Uh, should I take care of it? Yeah. Uh, with, she almost blurs, and she like, because she's, you guys are still about 80 feet away, maybe. She, from where she is, makes it to that orc, and unleashes Glory of blows, <laughs> monk, <laughs> uh, and just like doo -doo 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 -doo. the orc, the orc guys, like and kind of fall over. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh damn! <laughs> I was going to fight him. A lot of the other guards <laughs> kind of like step back and like, <coughs> what the hell just happened? I was going to fight him. Wanna, <laughs> and I, I'm just gonna yell, "Leave now!" before it gets worse. Okay, give me uh, just roll a d20 for me. Yeah, I'm yeah. pretty sure that you're like plus 17 to persuasion. Yeah, that's a 32. <laughs> <laughs> oh they all, oh. even even the assassin guy that was there is like, nope. <laughs> and all, I guess at this point. Uh, Forty guards. All thirty-eight guards and the assassin guy just haul ass away. <laughs> Thick is still there, handcuffed. He's like, "Be Crowley." <laughs> <laughs> you are Crowley. I really, Crowley. You are Crowley. I really hope that he stays convinced of that for the remainder of our campaign. We run into him again later, <laughs> <laughs> trying to be a warlock. <laughs> To no avail at all. Just we will welcome him into the circus. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so great. New strongman now. Please make that happen. <laughs> Where was I, did not, there for like I, didn't, right? I did not see that coming out. Yeah. <laughs> there were 38, I'll, I'll say to my monk friend, it's about as many dwarven women I slept with that one time. <laughs> You're up to a thousand. You heard about that, that one time. Uh, yeah. you, have, you have a, uh, a uh, best-selling smut book out yes. called Eisenschmidt and the Thousand Dwarven Ladies. <laughs> it's one of those where every time they like mention uh, bits, they have to like use different nouns and adjectives every time. Like this, so like it, it starts out with reasonable sounding ones, and then it just gets ridiculous <laughs> as, as it goes on. Uh, <laughs> hilarious. <coughs> and uh, the the who is obviously a monk uh, is is everyone okay? Uh, I'm in a great deal of pain. It's very pain. Here, drink this. I'm right. still floating. What is it? Drink this. What is it? Just drink okay. it. Okay. Uh, the <laughs> <book. Yeah. laughs> is it is the death dancer? <laughs> Well, that, that, don't worry about that. We'll wait on that. No, he doesn't pass out. No, it's, it's, not, it's, it's not a healing potion I have. That's, oh, that's uh, superior. Yeah. Which is 40? Yeah. Whatever you need. Take okay. It. So max up. Yeah, you, you have 40 hit points? You basically... I have 50. Okay. Oh, so just so you're close to max, yeah. Thank you. That's a, who are you? That's a good hooch. How do you not know who I am? Uh, okay. Hang on. Yeah. 
You know exactly who Finn is. Finn and Harriet have met him. would not know who this guy okay. is. I would, I would. I would know. Clank, you know him because you've seen him. You've met him before because you were built by Evander, and you yeah. guys would hang out sometimes. Yeah. Oh wait, yeah, you're the. I'm that robot. Yeah, the robot. Yeah. 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 <laughs> 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 he blew. It was, it was he made a bad shot. Oh yeah. Yeah. Really yeah. Really yeah. Um, I love it. He fixed Finn. <laughs> Finn yeah. hasn't really seen enough of the world to have met this guy yeah. or even know about him really. And he, same kind of thing with Harriet. Well, I probably know what a death elf um, is. So. Yes, you have heard of death elf. I don't know that you've met one really. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably uh, just stand there all wide eyed. Six foot eight guy with giant shoulders. Just yeah. Like, Whoa, you look weird. <laughs> so, <laughs> Hi. I, mean, uh, uh, this beer. Like, I don't know what I'm hey. doing with it yet, but it's good. Why this so guy pain? is Finn, you can't Isaac Schmidt, lead singer of Nightmare. We, we changed uh, our name. Oh, yeah? What is it now? Well, we've gone through a lot of people. We tried to do the, the Stephen Evans. I wanted everybody to be named Steve. My name didn't work. Um, <laughs> not Steve. So we're now just the, we're just the death dancers. No, guys. <laughs> okay. That we have great hit sense. songs like the love song, the uh, the uh, pussy smasher, pussy smasher, um, the great, the great <laughs> battle hymn, uh, fate, which you know we might like or yeah. some of it later. Do you still <laughs> occasionally do the nightmare song? Yeah, Just sometimes, to, like, sometimes the it, crowd? Has to, it has to be requested. Ah, oh, I gotcha. It's okay. hard to get the horse involved and the you know, <laughs> <laughs> the wear bear. Oh, it's, yeah. it's, really, yeah. it's really tough to get that going. That's well, crucial. it's it's been a good. Century, 60, 70 years since you've known the location again. Because Imps kind of wandered off to look for a better weapon and kind of never came back. He's <laughs> kind of mean. He's kind of mean. This camera is like, far, did you want to point it that far down? It's not pointed. Anything. That's the battle camera. No. That, yeah. Okay. I, oh, sorry. I don't have anything to point. Sorry. So. Um, oh, the monkey. Because, like, you all are kind of, whoa, all right. Because he is, he is there. He arrived a little early uh, to, to play, to sort of set up for the, the part that he is being paid a pretty hefty sum for. So, so you're the Eisenschmidt? That's what they say. Holy shit. <laughs> I've been drinking today, so. Kind of. Whoa, whoa, years. whoa. The Irishman I knew yeah. drank every day. If you, knew, if, admit, if you knew the scenes behind the music. Uh, here's the thing, too, though. Here's the thing, too. It's been 102 years, so there there have probably been a couple of dry spells where 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 Schmidt would, like, go sober. Go so, so that he could, like. <laughs> Detoxify. Detoxify and like I, I just I, I'm not getting drunk anymore. On <laughs> yeah. Death dancers. I got I, I got to quit for a while. <laughs> yeah. So I can go to Artan A. So can actually reduce <laughs> reduce my uh, so, my so tolerance. Like, so, hey, what what seems to be the problem here? Apparently, uh, oh, we almost died. Oh, so I'm glad there, you showed there's up. There's a bomb here somewhere. A bomb. There's a bomb. Yes, a bombs. Apparently. <laughs> oh, I need to adventure more. <laughs> <laughs> You have had a very nice, long uh, retirement. And the, uh, the monk chick, who, when she gets closer to you, you actually notice there are very minute signs of age. Like, just just the barest hint of, like, the crow's feet. And that kind of stuff. She's still very... You know, young and pretty looking. looking. Very, very young pretty looking. But she kind of... Uh, who, who's, who's the... Do you have a leader of a sort of band? Uh, she, 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 and, and, and I, I would do this like. But put your hand down, Finn. She she approaches you. <laughs> yes, me. And uh, goes to, to, to shake your hand. Says, uh, "My name is Belena." Oh! oh she oh, name oh, drops. Wow. Huh? I thought she was human. How she? She's like she was, bang, she was like banging away oh. across the plane. That's true. Yeah. And she was <laughs> and also she's a long she's a monk. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> there comes a point where monks stop aging. That's right. Like they just visibly aging. Are processing uh, keys. So she's she's like 125. Not that she she probably looks like she's maybe. Maybe. Have I heard of Belina? It's part Somewhere of fate? in the early um, She actually looks like that, that lady you, from the Bowflex commercial. Much lesser known like part of fate. fate. Yeah, yeah. She, she, she is mentioned in the Tales of Fate, 
but it's not. Sparse. It's it's only in the very early days. Like apocrypha and, kind of thing. Yeah, and 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 she kind of wanders off at some point, and she's never really mentioned again. It's it's a pleasure to meet you, Elena. <clears throat> I'm Aloysius Carly. These are the Skinronas. Uh, the what? See. The Steen Steen Ronas <laughs> Steen. is the Steen, uh, they are members of what is called the Free Regiment of the Fate Breakers, uh, oh, which yeah. is a group that was started by the Guild after the events of Fate and the Chroma War. Basically, all these um, mercenaries that are part yeah, of the Hunters yeah. Guild. There are there are a number. We, we don't have apparently, Sai si thought it was okay. clever. <laughs> there are a, a a number of yes, he did. Agents there are a number of different types or groups within the Fate Breakers. Uh, the Free Regiment has the freest reign. Uh, the only group that has a more free reign, so to speak, would be Penumbra itself. Okay. Um, so they oh, can. Oh my God, you guys. Yep. <laughs> We are also level like what five? Yeah, you guys level five. He could wipe the floor with you if you wanted. To. Yeah, it's not hard for him to just kill us all. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> every ninth level thunder, thunder wave, wave, everyone dies. <laughs> I might not die. No, you, 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 would, you would die next. But I would die next. Turn. <laughs> <laughs> next turn. Next turn. Next turn. Next turn. Next turn. Next turn. Next like, I'm not dead, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then I would so, okay, let me fix that. Kill. <laughs> Genevieve. Takes kind of a, a deep, shaky breath, and then I gotta kind of rush over to her. Of, well, she kind of darts away <coughs> behind some crates, and if you follow her, she's like, <laughs> very. You, you, you okay? I get a oh yeah. Uh, Sorry, yes. I make you get up. On here. I, you can okay, use before you get it. No, I got it. No, I've got, I've got one right here. Oh, no. Here. Cool. I, 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 it's, uh, I don't think I've been that close to death before. And you should have mentioned it with us more often. This is, this is the mm-hmm. third time to Who's? speak. No. Who are you? That's my mother. I mean, the poison child. Nice to meet you. You know Genevieve. Yeah. He nice to meet you. You have, let me rephrase this. Let's, let's see. They you know have known Genevieve. They, they oh, balls. <laughs> he's not my father, right? No, he's not your father. So mom. I'm not acting like you know. Right? Yeah, yeah. She's like, yeah, okay. I <laughs> so you got a new member of your family here. Not new. No, this this old crazy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what He's just still sitting there. I am Crowley. <laughs> you like to be Crowley? What what happened? Huh? How how would this happen? Uh that would be my son with suggestion. <laughs> Good. Yeah. I uh, didn't expect that at all. <laughs> <laughs> glad, they, glad that that happened. I, I, I wouldn't have expected that for Because that's hilarious. I love it. <laughs> he is thick Crowley. <laughs> I, thick. Me, me, thick Crowley? <laughs> <laughs> it is okay. That's You're with your family. <coughs> <laughs> yes, let's stay on for now. When you, can, when you can learn to take them off without a key, you'll be a true member as a Crowley family. <laughs> His intelligence is six. <laughs> so he's like, he's like, <laughs> hang on. That's what. <laughs> he's like, Hur. he like tries a couple times and Hur. snap. <laughs> Welcome to the family. <laughs> Me Crowley. <laughs> Thirsty? Oh no. Thirsty? No. Yes, you are. Yes. <laughs> Here you go. Yeah, that's a death thing. <laughs> <laughs> How long was this last one? Yeah, that's a four. <laughs> uh, me. Proudly? <laughs> Number four one. With a resounding thump. Yeah. Uh, and I mentioned, I'm like, I remember this game. I remember you were all the time. Um, By the way, suggestion lasts for eight hours, so... Are you gonna have back? <laughs> He'll be passed out for about that long. Because <coughs> it'll be, it'll be that's not a good role on, on a death dancer. Which, I haven't really encountered those yet in this campaign. Uh, don't, don't, yeah, just... Uh, it is... Guys, don't worry about it. It is a 
is a drink that is used by Penumbra to identify other members of Penumbra because they are immune to poison. I did not know that was the original use of it. Eventually. Yeah. Yeah. So it's poison and it's also alcoholic. So the poison uh, sort of thins the blood and the very strong alcohol makes you immediately wasted unless you're immune to poison, in which case neither of them have any effect on you. So, uh, just just because it's so, a loop, uh, penumbra. No. Right? No. Stingo nuts. Okay. Well, well, because, because well, penumbra, well, because, because penumbra sort of. nuts. Yeah, you recognize that he's, he's an agent of penumbra. Yeah, you, right. you, you recognize that. You can tell that, the that one of them is. Okay. Okay. Because. Of course. It's 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 it's, it's not necessarily. Do you want to explain it? Did you to all the characters? Oh, giant right. sasquatch. No, no, I, I, yeah. What do I see here? And okay. then a bird person. What kind of standing bird in the back? Well, hang on, I got this. Okay, like a bird. Person? Standing kind like of in the bird back, person. Um, bird looking person. a little sheepish, <laughs> if you will, uh, is and sort of towering over everything else uh, <laughs> is a nine foot tall sasquatch woman. Ooh, hey, nice to meet you. <laughs> um, <laughs> with, with a pork. With, 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 with a pork. Or straight from Star Wars. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> am, I, am I still floating in the air? Um, it, it's actually around this point that your eyes sort of dim back to their normal color and you uh, return to the... Well, to call very loudly. Call! <laughs> <laughs> well, you have, where yeah, you so have that, a bird person, too. <laughs> Uh, floating in the air, uh, who just now seems to have come out of some sort of trance, uh, is an avian mm-hmm. uh, bird individual. Um, they're sort of on uh, one of the stacks of crates, pretty close to the ones that are on fire still, <laughs> um, is a human. Although I would imagine at this point he probably climbed down from there. Corey Kane. Yeah. Kane. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah, uh, that's probably good. Yeah. N- near the front, burning man standing, Sorry. standing by. Uh, I got an email. Uh, Genevieve is of course uh, Crowley, who is another day of cool. Crowley, kind of like tieflings for this world. Gotcha. Six foot eight, human, obviously uh, of, of the barbarian strain. <laughs> like I have a wolf um, as a hat and yeah. a cape. It's just a full wolf body. Can I like do some insight on how smart he is? You know that I'm a dumbass and I have no <laughs> <don't have> to <laughs> roll yeah. on that. He Here, is. look at it real quick. I don't need to look at yeah, it. You're an idiot. Negative three, <laughs> negative three modifier on intelligence, negative two modifier on charisma. Yeah. Oh, we're going to have so much fun. <laughs> yeah, you want to convince me to do something? It's yes. all done. Yes. He, uh, he is he's one of those where we're right, types your who oh, are yeah, real. Finn. Finn, nice to meet you. Big guy, squeaky voice. Yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. giant hand envelops yours, but yeah. like. He squeezes like a little. Bit. Yeah, I'm like, I'm he present. doesn't understand handshakes. <laughs> yeah. um, obviously, you know, Clank, Clank is an artifice, which is basically a robot. Robot. Okay. He's a robot. I like robots. Uh, and then I like standing a little bit to the side is a dragonborn, gold dragonborn. Yeah, gold dragonborn and gold, gold dragonborn plate. in full plate. Oh. Gold, gold washed full plate. Yeah. Very do you, do you, clearly a paladin. Do you speak to dragons? Not often. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Freaking that's, a, that's a fun story. <laughs> Thank you. He was so wasted. I can talk to dragons! Well, have you seen the story? I don't think so. You know, oh. Paul Muth. Uh, good old, was good old Magri, I will tell the story of Magri. You have to stop making this up. <laughs> Magri. <clears throat> our lovable, lovable dragon board. Until we have to kill him. Yeah, until we murder him. I murdered <laughs> the shit out of him. Until I guess they already know his story. Or someone else had to kill him. Not us. He had to die yeah, because he him. loved to talk to dragons. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dragons! Are you there? Hey, dragons! He might have really. Yeah, he's on the fence. See uh, <laughs> early recordings of the first campaign. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Paul was part of it and he got hammered yeah. a couple of times. That was bad. Every when time we were playing <laughs> in Eli's kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. Before we before we were even on camera, it was just the map. no. We we had the we camera, camera up, yeah. The camera it was like it was a camera like up there looking at all yeah. of us. You can see like yeah. our hands rolling. That was that was. <laughs> Don't be like Mac. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they have it. Uh, 
Uh, and don't call them. enemies bitches. That yeah. was uh, you don't yeah, yeah. Thankfully, they haven't encountered any dragons yet. Good. Because they're oh, alive, oh, oh. and it would wipe the floor. <laughs> yeah. Unless it's a little baby one. <laughs> little baby wyvern that's by itself. Let's Wish. Not find out. Dragon. Um, Just and then there's the bird man. Yeah. Yeah, bird man. I have a, I'd like to assume I that I know who Eisenschmidt is from the books I've read. I would imagine <laughs> that yes, you do. Touch another man's die. Yeah, you, know, know, you know him to be an exceptional storyteller and renowned partier. Okay. He is the party master. Uh, also, most parties I have been to, the the majority of people at those parties do not remember what happened at those parties. <laughs> uh, just the way I like kind of He party. is the, the hangover. I'm hangover. just gonna look at my mother and go. Uh, why do you know him? Well, oh, of course. I mean, <laughs> was it at least after Dad died? Wait, what? Is, your oh, nose. No, it's not. Don't you <laughs> <laughs> we have the same nose. <coughs> no. Papa? It's not your father. You are full nail. Full. <laughs> oh. There's no part to the death elf or anything like that. Uh, as interesting as that would be. Can't wait to see like, a dwarven spawn. Sure. Oh no, dwarves. There's got to be a clan somewhere. No dwarves. Um, no, it's not quite how that works. It's probably been oh, this, the dwarves are stone people. Like yeah, the stone dwarves. Gems we're eyes. going. We're going fully into my world this time. So the dwarves, they have flesh like hearts stuff when they're Bits. you know awake. all the good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know all about it. When they're all <laughs> uh, when they very when familiar they rest, with the dwarf they anatomy. Become they become statues. <laughs> should have doctor uh, by now. <laughs> the point is, um, and this is probably something that Isaac Schmidt appreciates about dwarves and dwarven ladies and the like, is that you don't really have the genetic interchangeability, so you cannot impregnate Dwarven ladies. But you can fuck the shit out of them. <laughs> what do you do? Yeah, that's pretty good. But you only get that with fate. Yeah, I, yeah, you don't get that with the other streams. That's fair. <laughs> yeah. uh, they can drink pretty well. You can be thankful too. for that. They can drink very well. Um, Frostbeard Ale is still a pretty good Oh, yeah. Safe. Uncle Frosty. They haven't met. You're, you're the first uh, previous campaign member. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm the only one. Obviously, Edinger is dead because it's been too long. He is dead. He probably uh, shot himself in the face. No. <laughs> By accident. This is gum jam to explain. You were working on an RPG. Like, clean it, like, in the barrel. I got it. Right I built it. <laughs> it's like, Finally. Clank comes over. Like, Master? Clank is Lord of 76 gun. Where is your head? Oh, it's right here. I opened up my chest. Wow. <laughs> it's fucking dark. It's a dark turn. Keep, like, a, 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 a skull oh, in <laughs> one of your, like, inner chambers. It's like, what is that? Oh, it's, it's Evan Durant. <laughs> He's always with me. Always <laughs> with me. <laughs> it is, yeah, it is the master. Like, I might keep it. It is the creator. There. Maybe. That might be a good thing to keep. <clears throat> it was the worst part of that one. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I can credit it's okay, Clank. Clank, it's okay. You've seen all that. And this is this will be sort of relevant specifically to you. Uh, when Evander died, eventually, because he did, mm. as an old dude, old dude, hanging out in Ganrock with the gnomes, building fancy shit, uh, which was probably about 50, 60 years ago. Um, that was the, the last time. You had maybe seen Isaac Schmidt a handful of times after that, but without Evander to hang out with, he didn't really swing by there much anymore because there wasn't a lot of purpose to. <laughs> I'm a robot. I'm going to make, <laughs> make you a uh, real boy. So, <laughs> right, so, so, so you went to do other things. Um, Please don't Pinocchio him. <laughs> We need We need someone to be able to breathe poison. <laughs> yeah, actually, my character can grow in size and shrink. Okay, that's good. He's basically Ant-Man. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Well, you can't get with that big, magic. But yeah, big or, or that small. Or, or that small. <laughs> so what, swing with, shr- size. Shrink between the molecules. Really? It's like 12 inches, no. 4 inches, uh, 4 feet. I thought it was 9, nine inches. Feet. Is it 12 inches? It's 12 inches. Uh, okay. Yeah. One foot. Yeah. Yeah, 12 inches. And you he's, you uh, become this, the size of a cloth clothing G.I. Joe action figure. Yeah. Oh, dude. So, like... <laughs> no, wait, I... We need to get the harness, like, a little thrown to sit on my so shoulder for him. Just, my <laughs> just to clarify here, there's still fire, and there's a bomb somewhere yeah, in the fire. Yeah, the fire is, like, spreading along. <laughs> can, oh, right. I just, can you do something about the fire? That's not my problem. There's a bomb in there. In I, the need, I need to see what you guys have. There's a bomb in the fire. It's <laughs> on I need to know if you're worthy. It's on um, um, Yes? I got some Fire. sweet VIP passes for this party tonight. I need She's to make sure you deserve it. She? She's a day of a sorceress. <laughs> Give me a short rest and I will drink all the death. <laughs> She's, uh, <laughs> She's older than me, so she's probably higher level. Thaumaturgy. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Thank you. you can, oh man, we need you. more hot pockets. I don't test that. Okay. <laughs> you... This party's cooling off. Uh, you think now, can up. you do? Can, can you find mm. the bomb? The new recipe. You hey. can't stand the heat, stay out of the kitchen. Find out there. <laughs> <laughs> You have a Detect magic. Really and anywhere that you know, where there's like a no zone, where there's no magic, is that is where it is. Yeah. I can do that. It really should. Just in, we're going to raise the insults. Or in, all the time. Is there a cleric? Uh, the, well, my, uh, my paladin yeah. brother is missing. Like and, yeah, no. <laughs> you what are you? An idiot um, sorcerers <laughs> can. can it, 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 it wouldn't be. I mean, the tech. Looking at objects yeah, like, it's like too hot. is, it's like, I think, it's actually blocked like, by lead. Do that. Yes, yes. Do that. Oh, you wouldn't it's work. Dead dead there. Cool. But the trying to take think. magic would be more efficient, and uh, I think sorcerers can eventually do that. We have to figure out how to do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I could as a warlock at a higher level, but I don't uh, have it yet. So yeah, like one and a half. One and kind of like one spread. I just saw the picture. Literally, just saw the picture. She, shards she kind of <laughs> cast the spell, and her eyes are to, to, to glow. Mm-hmm. And she, and she kind of is like, yeah. like goodness yeah. gracious, everything's so yeah. bright. <laughs> like 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 it's, it's, it's like everything's just like, like, no, yeah, that's in awesome. these crates. Well, it's a 30 foot <laughs> like so I, I assume she has to start <laughs> Yes. Uh, so she starts kind of walking, and then and, like? Come on. and everyone sort of tags along. Um, Isaac Schmidt and Belina just yeah. kind of tailing <laughs> a little bit behind, Watch looking on in, in interest. I want to be testing a, uh, or, or fine steed while she's doing this. Okay, that's completely I have a hard time looking away from the death elf because I've never seen one like... <laughs> <laughs> Steed. Yes. A spectral steed of Whoa. Uh what is it? It's a war horse. Okay, you doing war horse? With like sweet golden shiny sparkles of <laughs> armor. <laughs> oh, well it wouldn't have armor for Well time, like yeah, but golden hmm? fine steed let you do that. It, it's just it's all decoration. Oh yeah, that's it, right. It's a spiritual it's a fey animal. Yeah, yeah. The fey type. So you summon a uh, do you want this spectral Horace, do you have some kind of oh distinguishing really factors, is. features? Like it could be like a classic cavalry, like nice mean, horse with like a checkered and you hatched could, flag across its armor. You could and, flavor text it as a drake, hmm. or to where it's like a little 
Like it's got scales. Like it's it's got drink, the like a fangs. Rideable, like Yoshi. Yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Just more bad. Yoshi. Well, that'd be good. That would be definitely be good for the adventure he wants to look feared. Yeah. Wow. Hey, by the way, I don't know if you want. I mean, <laughs> it it would be so we'll stated as right. a war horse, right? right. Well, but if you open one, functionally or vis- visually, actually, it can be yeah. great. Nice. That's, that's awesome. That's fine. Yeah. Well, no, no, I love the, the job ahead. <laughs> so yeah, it's so we uh, yes, we're just, like doing a rest that's, and leveling up and whatnot. No, we're we're no, finding about the this is oh, yeah. the as far as you are currently aware. Try rest while everyone else on the bomb. Well, the only one left is inside the Golden Sphere, and we can't get there. Right, that's true. That's I'll true. investigate. Okay. Yeah, so you start <coughs> pulling crates, I'll moving things, things around. So, All right. This just shows He's going to assist me with my investigations. He's like, I want some. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You could pick so, so all of this is what I can have. Nice. So, the, so, the, so, the, so the way home to the full 21 to investigation. The full list. Okay. 21 to investigation. You can choose I'm from. 21. You can do, like, yes. nice. each level. Um, you find the crate. Hey, Elliot, can you put the crate down for us, please? Boop. It's a symbol. She's tall. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Blue, but yeah. it's down. That's, that's true. She's tall. So, okay. you pull the crate down. It is indeed locked. Kane? So here. Kane? You yeah. Not to Kate. Yeah, probably. Sorry. Please do it right the first time. Yeah. Yeah, it's an 18. Plus, plus stuff. Seven. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's. Good. It's a 25. Yeah. Yeah. Um, also, so where it has spells known, yeah. that means you get to know okay. uh, that many spells yeah. from this list. Oh, totally. okay. Yeah. Got so it. Yep. it's one, two, three. <laughs> like you, are, you can okay. only know right now first and second level spells. Okay. So it I kind of it just confused me. So. I gave you yes, pass out trace because that's a very now, useful. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then you can pick one more from the top. Cool. Yeah. Perfect. Popeye's a beast, and I didn't ones. know it. Mm-hmm. He's really cool. Yeah, okay, sorry, I just I was yeah, confused no a little bit. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. So essentially, All right. as you level up, you'll get to learn more. Guys. And All right. You can get more. Into the no worries. Oh, like, nice. show them okay. and it's not about spin. Yeah, no yeah, I just, I was just like, I got so, you. No worries. No worries. Thank you. you open it up. Any magical light kind of go out. Her. Your your Boda bag has just become just a bag. <clears throat> yeah. You just always know. <laughs> oh, oh, now you see why the bombs are rolling. He's having a crisis. No magic items work in about a hundred foot radius. Um. So I can see you like sort of so, taking a drink, you and nothing comes out. You're like, yeah, I'm just going to walk yeah. away. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, you like, like go, oh, like go shit. to drink from it. Nope, and you start walking. <laughs> guys, <laughs> guys, I gotta get, gotta get back to my show. All right, yeah. I gotta, gotta make sure. We'll come find you. Oh yeah, here's some, some passes. Okay. <laughs> fine, fine, fine. <laughs> Backstage. Puts it in the pocket. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll bring it for that thing. Backstage. 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 Oh, that's Ooh. so much better. Yeah. That's a 23. No, this 22. Table should be speeded out a little tiny bit. That's 16 and 17. Yeah. That's two down. Okay. A, yeah, I'm right. Ooh, 23 again. Yeah, oh, boy. So with uh, the oh, skilled well, ease of one who's already disarmed, so many of these, three or four <laughs> of these already, uh, you. Very quickly, like and, click, and, and click, handily, click, snip, snip. Uh, this arm, this arm. What's the number on the bottom? Uh, gosh, no, uh, this is uh, this was the university one. Yeah. Number five. Okay. At least the numbers have not gone above six. Yeah, that's, that's all I'm looking for. Say. <laughs> that one is number five. Okay, so so far we've gotten. Let's see. I think but one. Three, six, two, four, and five. Well, we got, we, we're missing one. Yeah, two, three, four, five, six. So, yeah, only one left is number one. What do you see inside that bottle, Bob? 
<laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> 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 Um, so, I guess, want to get our uh, penumbra friend yeah, involved? Yeah, Kane. He's coming back. Kane? Yeah. Kane? Can, can you get your bomb disposal person? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> it's, it's, it's at this point that you notice that I just Smith and Elena have kind of wandered off. Somewhere out well, of well, sight. Well, he, he hit if he passes and well, said, yeah. I'm going to go to my show now. So he he went. I was going to say he could drink. drink but he went somewhere where he could drink. <laughs> you want to make you some? Yeah. Uh, actually, for the sake of... of uh, brevity? Brevity, a point of interest here. Um, I just meant also slips clank. Ooh. I wish I could read. Do you have any of that? Yes, you can. Uh, so. Ah, yes. It, it shows. Word. I'm holding it upside okay. down and backwards. <laughs> on, yes, on, on this uh, sheet of paper, um, it like at at the top it says, um, "Give give to Clank." The next time you see it, oh. it appears to be a note from Ebner. Papa! 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 It shows. It shows a diagram of you and sort of your. Um, some of you are going to work. You guys can't see this. Like, Very personal. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the... It's my personal dude. <laughs> I'm, just like gonna look, I'm just going to look over his shoulder. <coughs> you didn't have a penis. <laughs> no, it's here. <laughs> <laughs> Under it's attached your... Uh, and, and, like, there's there's a, a location that's circled. Um, under your right shoulder uh, plate, right? Behind some wires and stuff. There is a button that you don't know about. That you have never, because <laughs> obviously you don't reach into your shoulder. <laughs> Do you want some help with it? With any sort of frequency. He he's, he's not sharing this no. with anyone yet. No uh, one so knows like, about it. So yeah, uh, there's there's. Well, hang on. So <laughs> there, there's, 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 there's there is a button, and then like written. In an an empty space nearby, uh, there is written. Um, it says sixty nine. Ha ha ha. Oh well. Was it all? Do you do you push the button? Oh God. I, well, I don't know what the sixty nine is, but like, like, maybe you'll make whoa, 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 whoa. You're not there. Did he read it? Yeah, no. I ran away a little bit to oh. go to the show, but then I remembered I put that there because he took some drinks. You, so I'm you. like observing. <laughs> so <laughs> you and you become invisible, we'll say. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I dig that. So you you tentatively. Are, yeah, I'm looking for this yeah. button. You find it. It's yeah. there. Oh. You push the button, Ooh. and um, part of your chest plate pushes out. And rotates huh. on that pin, and on the uh, on on this little panel, there is uh, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, zero. Enter and uh, reset. Oh, it's it's not what you think. It's it's not like a reset to you. Because well, <laughs> that would be bad. Uh, <laughs> uh, near near the. Uh, Near the one, kind of upper left, so to speak, of the one, there is a light bulb. A, bulb, a, a sort of spherical thing. Um, you know it to be like a, a, a gnomish light source. Um, it's not regularly used, but you've, you've seen them around. Obviously, where you're from. Where it was made, yeah. Um, <clears throat> so. I enter in 6 9. Six nine, and then 
So I start laughing. Every, <laughs> every, every time you hit a number, you hear like click, and then the bulb like flashes green. Click, click. You know things seems to happen. You do have there is an enter button. Oh, six so nine. Yeah. Yeah. Boop. And then. Um, to My head is all back. Like, <laughs> 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 to the I'm a sex robot. <laughs> oh, I get it now. That's terrible. <laughs> uh, well, I wouldn't put it past editor. Uh, to the. Uh, I guess to your left, kind of the way you're facing, but your like this this sort of space. In the heart spot um, opens up, and it's a it's a secret container. Do, 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 do. A secret <laughs> container space, um, and you didn't notice it because it's pretty well padded. But you pull Turned out. Never explored my body. <laughs> you didn't know it was there. Yeah. I mean, yeah, no, you had no way of knowing that it was there. Yeah, I'm only sixty. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Robots are so. Really slow. Um, <laughs> They're rusting though. You're. You, you kind of. Because of rust reach in, ah. There's there is an item in there. Oh shit. You kind of reach in and, and take it out. And it is, uh, there's like a sheet of paper taped to the bottom. And what it is, is it's, a, it's an ivory carved uh, figure of an owl bear. Oh, oh, oh shit! Oh. Uh, I, I, and, I, and on the bottom, on like a, a, a post it note kind of thing, a, a sheet of paper somehow attached to it, it says, Hoot Hoot. Who's found who? And I've never seen him was before. It, it, you have never it, seen him before. Because I never it's needed them. I just I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just say you're welcome, and then I skedaddle. Okay, because because Evander never needed. I mean, after a point, he, yeah. he had it. We so stopped using it for a while. Yeah, you quit using who do ages. Ago in the campaign, just oh, because that's awesome. it just like we wasn't him. super useful, right? So yeah. like, yeah. It's, it's like we'd use him for a meat oh. shield. Is pretty much all yeah. we'd use him for. And Bob gets a better meat shield. Yeah, that's true. Uh, was a good you have a sheep one. Ah, <laughs> uh, you do. I think so one of us has it though. It yeah. might be in my car. I'll check on my brain. Anyway, if if you don't, we can remake one. It's no big deal. Uh, but it is. So while he's like over there fondling himself, can we take a like a short rest? <laughs> um, it takes an hour to find the bomb. We're so, yes, so that's you can, for rest. Is that long enough to level up? Rest. Huh? Is long enough to level no, up? No, you're, you're going to need a, a, a long, long rest to do that. Damn. But uh, you instinctually yes. like read it out loud, hoo hoo. Yeah. And then the like figurine starts to shake a little bit and like. You you instinctually throw it over there, <laughs> a little distance away, and these aisles are not really that big, maybe ten foot, um, and then so the figurine expands and expands and expands to this full size uh, owl bear, owl bear, like adult, huge owl bear. Shice, where large, is this exactly? Elevator. And where am I? This is in the like. This is like next to like, all of us. It fills <laughs> the <laughs> aisle space, <laughs> and it's just like this this enormous owl bear, and it's like hoot. <laughs> am, I, am I like right there? Hoot. Uh, yeah. I mean, like everyone sees it. Okay. But you guys see me do all. It's those. hard to miss. You see me fondling myself with my saying, chest open yeah. up, and I'm in like, the buttons. You. And soon as well, soon as the album This is this is happening around the same time that uh, Crowley is like disarming the bomb. So, so, uh, so I'm watching so the, the bomb. Y'all are under so, y'all are under yeah. back then. So you are like watching the bomb. Uh, this would have to be after the bomb or before. This it. would have. That's true. Okay. So this is like right after the bomb then. So you you get the note and then you're like, hmm, boop, 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 boop. holy crap, owl oh, bear, hoot hoot. <laughs> hoot. <laughs> Um, Hoot. Uh, of important notice or note is that it seems to be showing a lot of interest in Harriet. Oh, you can really speak to. I'm trying oh, to get his attention. Right. Like, it's an owlbear, and I'm like, <laughs> 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 wait, <dude. laughs> like, 
like just enamored it is by it. It's not like, hostile. Yeah, no, it, in any way. Like that's why I have my hands up. Like I'm not hostile. And then it's not hostile. Like I'm yeah. like yeah. Just, like, just yeah. I want to move closer. You can. Yeah. You can go up and like pet so it. So it means oh my gosh, I can ride a hoot. I'm just saying, as a robot. Yes. The second it shows up, I'm like, it's like creeping forward, and then just eventually run up to it and start like giving yeah. it all the love and yeah. stuff. Yeah. And it 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 kind of like edges a little bit past you, yeah, and comes like right up to Harriet, and like bows, and a little bit. I'm and like says, beside him on his shoulders, like, <laughs> and <laughs> since you you uh, can speak to the PC stuff uh, just normally as mm-hmm. a ranger. They're like, hey. Uh, you know, it says, and they they all only hear hoot hoot, and then you of course respond hoot hoot hoot, because <laughs> uh, that's hoot. how hoot. Hoot. Bears talk. So, is is it short? Like, at my shoulder height or a little? It is, it, it, it's a large creature. Yeah. So it's um, my guy's like reaching up a little bit. It's, to, its shoulder height is probably about five and a half. Ish okay, yeah, that's that's pretty close to my shoulders. He's, he's, then. he's big, but he says this I, guy is like, I am Hootoot. You are a great friend of Owlbear's. Regardless of who wields me, I will always obey you. So, yes, I am. <laughs> what that means is, Hoot. generally speaking, whoever summons Hootoot. Commands to do, but Harriet can override them. Yes, yeah, awesome. so that <laughs> doesn't matter. Oh, well, doesn't matter who has it. Well, it's because they <coughs> help that owlbear. Even I'm if, better than them. <laughs> even if somehow an enemy gets it, she, she can say, That's awesome. No, if you attack him instead, and they'll be like, Cool. <laughs> <laughs> it, it immediately that actually works because I can really ride on top of Hoot Hoot, and you can have him attack, and oh, we. <laughs> We got this. We'll be fine. And Hoot Hoot, I believe, has like 99 hit points. Yes. There's 90. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Like, who was the first one? <laughs> <laughs> Our campaign at the beginning of it was okay, nothing but Meek Shield. Hoot Hoot. Hoot Hoot. Just everybody's like, oh, no, I do. Okay. Like, right now, oh my and God. like low that level low level stuff, Hoot Hoot is a monster. <laughs> yeah. But like, it's once you guys get to run level 10, he's usually pretty much it's like, like I, one hit, he's a, he's a, two so hits, he's like, cool, like one of the yeah. number people. I love that and he back. throws down his ability to get to the third Is that why you wore that shirt? Yes. It is. Yeah. It is. I wanted I I I knew I wanted to get Hoot Hoot back to you guys. Uh, and I figured that this would be your way to 69. do it. 69. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, now, you notice... I want to keep that diagram. Oh, of course. By the way. You notice that... I should put that in that. You, can, put it in yeah. that you can keep so. pushing buttons and, like, the green light flares. And, like, Ooh, you can learn cheat codes. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. Game chart. <laughs> 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 Invincibility. <laughs> nothing. Uh, Make it more across. You don't forget <laughs> to happen. <laughs> nothing seems to happen. But, I mean, there... Just possibility. You've there never are, coded yourself before. There are an infinite number of, of numerical combinations. I probably have like source to so, my body. So, so, uh, but for now, you just kind of reach back under there, and it flips back over. Nice. Yeah, I'm gonna stick that diagram in there though. Just, so. you just kind of tuck it into the, the, the now empty, padded yeah. uh, pocket. That's Security right. pocket. Security <laughs> pocket. That's uh, I wonder if there's cool. other things in there. Finn, pick him up and shake him. No. <laughs> See if it's like he brought us the owl. I'll, I'll like, I'll baby pet him on his head. Yes. Like, no, 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 it's a, <laughs> not a bear, it's a clank. Yeah, that's the, the, the clank. I'm like, no. <laughs> uh, I think I'm actually still 12 inches right it's now. Like, the owl right, well, cannot be like, a familiar. Put my hand on him. Like, it's just see, this is correct. A little bigger in my hand. I'm like, you could oh, no. get an owl bear as your familiar, so to speak, or like your. Yeah, this was like a trinket that we got from. But yeah, it's the trinket. Yeah. This is a magical item. Called a, a figurine of wonder's power that oh. I made up. Uh, cool. But it isn't an owlbear one. This thing's like, speaking. two, three years mm-hmm. old. <laughs> this is like the beginning of our campaign. The it's last really one. cool, though. Yeah. It, well, it's, it's very helpful. Like, it's really. Especially good for you guys right now. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's thanks, good. Guinevar. Good to see. Good to say thanks, Guinevar. It, <laughs> it, it, it goes back to, it sort of harkens back to. All actions have long, long-term things. So, 
your exploits have reached even the sort of ethereal owl bears like Hufud. Um, and you have been, basically because of um, your choices, been given a sort of master override code. Uh, so For owl bears. That's really cool. The bear doesn't realize it was my idea to save that cup, right? <laughs> I just want to put that out there. Tough luck. Yeah, that's cool. I can't, <laughs> can't talk, you. talk to these. Yeah. <laughs> there's a there's an invocation I can take for that, but I don't well, have it yet. Perhaps later. <laughs> Does the owlbear speak alien? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. You probably know that the owlbear knows a couple of words in avian. Like it uh, might be able food. to say a few words. Yeah. Like, like you said, but it's it's like super a, garbled. A hello or a kind of like a parrot. Or scared, or Under, it can say words doesn't understand. Them. Okay. Yeah, it, it can repeat what it's heard before. I feel like. Yeah. Mm. Good. It's purple. It's Good. So, so, so does the gnome come by and take the explosive component? Mm. Really, what's the purple and teal dice? Eventually, yes. Uh, right, I'm going to put there. the powder in my <laughs> bloodline yeah, box. Um, give that back to Plank. Talking to Quetzal, but Bob. The intelligent okay. figurine probably would know that you're speaking avian to it, and be like, "Just think, you're an idiot, and not reply at all." <laughs> <laughs> Just because they are okay. wondrous figurines. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, the owlbear does go up and, and sniff Quetzal a bit. <laughs> Hoot! Hoot. Ah! <laughs> yeah, he just call back. Of course, I probably haven't left his side. Like. It starts like sniffing at your, uh, your like food, your food, food pouches. pouches. You yeah. you want a hot pocket? <laughs> no, don't give that to me. <laughs> <laughs> this is a friend, not food. <laughs> Very nice. Very no. nice. Um, that bear surprise. Who last? Surprise! If I recall correctly, was it an hour? I wasn't there for him. I didn't think so. What is the green? I think, I think it lasted an hour. It basically got us through every little combat that we needed, so yeah. And then it like recharges every long rest. Yeah. So yeah. Basically you have a one shot with him. So yeah, maybe there he I might shift that a little bit, but we'll Tell me not one of those figurines. So the way the way I understand is that the bomb situation. There's one left. Some are longer than others, I think. Oh, okay. So there's one remaining, and it is in the Golden Sphere, which we can't get to yet. And we're supposed to go to the Golden Sphere tomorrow night. Mm. So I say we get a good night's sleep and go for the party tomorrow. Sounds yeah. good. Uh, yeah, we've been kind of going nonstop. Beep, boop, boop, beep. So we should. Uh, <laughs> I love that. It's so Papa. Good. Papa. It's so <laughs> I, Genevieve kind of speaks up. I agree. Uh, shall we? The, the, we shall. Finn. Uh, I, no, actually, I, I, I say, Genevieve, that was a very traumatic experience earlier. Do you need someone to, to, to keep you company? Yes. And she, like, goes and, like, grabs. Grabs Finn. <laughs> and Finn, I love that I'm Finn still is just like, like on the owlbear if it's still around. Yeah. Like just, did she see this owlbear? She's like all up on it. He's like, I'm just, don't care about anything but the owlbear. Yeah. She's like, I've got the owlbear in my arms. It's so, it's so good. <laughs> so you all. Just had to uh, make my mama hoe. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's not. She won't give no, a bird, man. Like, that was her choice. Like, like, yeah. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just the conduit, man. I'm just the conduit. She's obviously she, 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 birds. she makes her own choices, Brett. <laughs> and honestly, she doesn't like bird people. Have you seen Finn? <laughs> like, uh, look at that kid. You don't even notice. I'm glad you guys spent at least three plot points, though. <laughs> Otherwise, it wouldn't have happened. We did. Been good. I just like charming thick into thinking that he's Crowley. Oh yeah, yeah. Thick <laughs> <Dick, Dick laughs> is, is following you guys. He's now Crowley. Oh no. Uh, I guess I, some... we're gonna put him on the back of the Albert. Oh <laughs> yeah, I like it. I'd like to use a yeah. plot point to loot the, where, the warehouse. 
We were not in a warehouse. Well, we were in a warehouse. Like the magic, magic, warehouse magic items and such are yeah. stored there. Yeah, look, there's um, a plot point to loot the warehouse. Well, okay, before you spend your plot point. This is a terrible plan. No, I'm talking about it, but I'm long rest. Mm -hmm. When uh, you sort of uh, being, being curious, began to peruse, uh, give me an arcana check. Oh boy. You're good at this. I am good at this. I think I picked the right die, though. I was not the right the die. die. <laughs> Ten. 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 Ten is enough. Okay, hey! Hey, pick the right die! <laughs> hey. Ten is just enough. Um, you can tell that these are uh, alarmed boxes uh, that can only be opened by certain individuals. With certain. What about the ones that were on fire? Yeah. The ones that are on fire, whatever's in them has been. Exploded and destroyed. So, like, swords and stuff don't explode. <laughs> magic items typically aren't destroyed that way. There are. Uh, <coughs> this is not magic items. Magic items are, are all stored okay. by their respective Damn. Okay. stands. I'm never going to use a plot point to loot because I can't ever find anything to loot. Well, we'll get there, I assure okay. you. Okay. I assure you. I've got like uh, three sessions that I'm trying to next like, save up plot day, points to loot. Because, again, <laughs> it's like super late. So we level up now, right? Cause we, yes, uh, you yeah. go long rest, everybody levels up. It yes. hasn't yet. Uh, we will have efficiency. Hit yeah. 30 hit points. Efficiency goes up to 30. <laughs> so my speed is 40. My health is 78. Make sure Dang. Which is a bonus for 3. And I have an extra attack. Nice. Nice. Most importantly, I have an extra attack. Yeah. So does the war horse it just last until it's dead? Yes. Yeah, and yeah. you can resummon it when it dies. So you yeah. have to do the spell. Well, kind of, kind of switch out it. the spells at this Yeah, you don't need the spell, spell. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. You can definitely switch it out. Yeah. I have a guy in my group who uses fine speed. It's pretty oh, handy. Yeah. Proficiency. Oh, yeah. yeah. Give me that. It's pretty badass because you'll be a golden paladin always on a horse. Yeah. The fucking champion riding. So you all return monster. to the circus, which race, takes yeah. you about oh, 30, advanced. 40 minutes to walk back. Um, you know, having a nice stroll through the city. Lights and if I see and if I see any guards along the way, because I'm guessing there are at least some. There are some. Like I'm just gonna flare yeah. my eyes at yeah, them. Like, okay. I don't even care anymore. I'm just going to, you know, just like I'm about to cast something at them, just brighten my eyes. Um, word has spread, and they uh, they actually tend now to give you. As they should. Oh, I actually have a performance there. And performance. you return and long rest. <laughs> nice. And everyone levels. Who is it? Now we're at level five. For those of you. I immediately drank a death answer. Con save. Is this like. I don't mean the poison, though. Huh? I don't mean the poison. Oh! Then, yeah. Woo! <laughs> so to make sure, like, yes! I am! <coughs> Yeah, you drink it, and it does nothing to you. Yeah. Hey, you no longer get drunk. Hey, also, no. you can no longer get drunk. <laughs> That's I'll, okay. I, I want all of you to know my nature check, which I am proficient in, just went from negative one to zero. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Yeah, my, uh, yeah, my performance of proficiency did bonus increase. My performance yeah. went to zero to one. Yeah, so anyway, my nature check is now... A zero instead of a negative one because I'm proficient. Mm -hmm. My stealth's an eleven. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's bonkers. Plus eleven. All of my yeah. charisma skills uh, on are stealth. plus eight. That's dope. Because what is expertise? expertise? The prof uh, four expertise. Expertise for the oh, rogue. Yes, yeah, you right. Get, you get yeah. you get choose two that you get double. And it's stealth, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I've got that. I've got it in that and investigation, yeah, which up. my ability modifier isn't very good, so well, that helps say, it out. He's going to be our investigator. You all wake up. Uh, at this point, it's close. about 10, 11 o'clock or so. Uh, we have... need fancy oh. party clothes. <clears throat> yes. Dress up. I mean, I can just. I just, oh, I just like, disguise self. During the long rest, I want to. <laughs> Like before everyone gets to sleep, I want to tell them what happened to me while I was in the crazy trance thing. Okay, yes. Um, Scene. Yeah. So, hey, guys. This is important. The guys, uh, <laughs> we really need to go to a Leia car. A Leia car? Like bad. There's a. I've been there before. There's a large murderous force. We need to kill the murderous force. Um, the Veil force is, is disappearing. 
the bale's weakening, and uh, we have like 40 days before a rift opens. So Any reaction from the sword? Yes. Uh, so you get an affirmation. They're, they're mass murder that is, that is the truth. Yes. Okay. We, we, gotta, we gotta do it. You we gotta go kill him. somebody? Hmm? Okay. We'll accompany him. Figure out I what's going on. <laughs> Apparently I have to go to so. Cool. Yay! So let's get, take care of soldiers and then go to Atlanta. Yeah, we'll figure this, hey, this, this, the this festival out. isn't over yet, is it? No, no we gotta okay. stay six. So, have we got our magic weapons that were being enchanted back then? Stay ten. That's what I thought. And that was like at the end of the festival? Yep. Yeah. That's right. All right. Yep. Just making sure. Four more. Days. I still have my battle axe. Yeah. Four more. Days. Yes. Uh, just they're not ready just yet. But yeah, but I, I'm just making now. sure. That's what I thought was the case. Do you want to do anything in the uh, eight-ish <laughs> hours? We need um, to go shopping for party clothes. Um, to the party itself. Fuck party clothes. I need some health potions. <laughs> That's all. But we need party clothes. Fair. I think you probably buy some health potions. I'd yeah. also like to cook a little bit. Anyway, I need some health potions, and whatever they convince me to buy, I'm not taking off my normal outfit. Just putting whatever they put on over. <laughs> over top. I'm gonna. Bit. I'm gonna cook the. Like, imagine a giant that is sheet hilarious. just kind of draped around my shoulders or Dude, something. Dude, I love that but, so much. Like I just still have my wolf hat, my belt, my swords on my shoulder, like normal. Like, <laughs> just, love it. They just put. Something over that all is of it. Great. It's okay. colorful. So I have a compromise. If you don't want to go shopping for party clothes, I will pick out party clothes for all of you, <coughs> and meet you back here in a few hours. How about that? That's fine. I'm gonna cook a couple okay. of uh, hot pockets. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna call over one you of can my. You do that. Have you seen his? Uh, uh, I'm gonna call over one of my sisters. Can you match them real quick? For closing. Uh, <laughs> I just like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Make this all bigger so that it'll fit. You like try to scratch your forehead, but you can't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Swole. <laughs> ELS. True. Enlarged lat syndrome. So are they you coming back? Touch are they coming back to the side? Hmm? We're to staying town? in our in the They will be, yes. Eventually. Um for the party for sure. Okay, so when they get back to town those those VIP passes I gave them it allows me to know that they're like getting closer. Oh okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna send Stephen eight. Stephen eight. Number eight. <laughs> We're not there yet. We're not there but yet. when they get there, I'm gonna send Stephen eight. Stephen number eight. You've been through seven. Well, he, he's with number nine too. So. Oh, okay. He knows who wants Stephen. I gotcha. Or he wanted to do the Stephen Evans. Is this <laughs> is this when you like persuade them that their name is actually Stephen? No, they're actually named Stephen. Oh, okay. <laughs> the ghost is fine. He sets the lands for Stephen. It's a requirement. Recruits them. <laughs> Is your name Steven? No, get out. Yep. <laughs> You're like the best musician That's in the mistake. land. He's like, is your name Steven? No, yep. I don't want you. No, so, get out. It's so, I don't need you. My middle name's Steven. I go by Steven. Nope. But your name is Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> get out of here. Get out of here. Oh Nate. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Um, so, the Crowley sister uh, begins taking all the relevant dimensions for what girl? What beautiful girl? crafting party clothes, or at the very least, finding party clothes that they have. Oh. Uh, and they do have. He can't, can't take care of himself. That's fine. Just reasons. I just don't know if we're going to have something for Harriet. I'm sorry, you're big. You're very tall. I was just thinking the same thing. Um, they have ends, or have had in the circus. Oh, we had to walk a while back. There have been relatively larger creatures <laughs> that have partaken in certain events, like you guys did before. Uh, so they don't have a lot of choices, but they do have a handful. Um, I'm just imagining like a giant version of Kaylee's dress from Firefly. Just lying on, around somewhere. On, on, on Harriet. Harriet. That's yes. awesome. <laughs> I love that. Do you like that? Yeah, I do actually. <laughs> the big, like, the giant pink dress. dress. The giant pink floofy dress. Oh, that's so good. I wish we had fan artists. Yeah, whatever Wait. happened to that, Corey? What do I need to know? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Big floofy dress. Them with. No, um, they they found like like a. Kaylee she was having dress. an issue with her computer for a while. Kaylee? Or Harriet. 
Kaylee's dress from Firefly, the big pink poofy dress. Oh, I... Um... Yeah, what? It's probably been a while since you've seen Firefly. No. <laughs> no, actually, I haven't seen it. What? <laughs> That's a sin. So we have Harriet's gear sorted out, and that's great, and I love it. Kane, what are what is your um, attire for the party? Um, it's gonna be some pretty much about like what he wore the first time they went to the the Golden Sphere. Okay, it's a, it's a pretty like well maintained, but nothing too flashy. Gotcha. It's a like yeah. where where you appear wealthy, but like you were raised wealthy, so you don't have to dress gaudy. To yeah, be, yeah, I, I gotcha. Kind of, kind of thing like um, a clean black with gold trim. Was it lines. like Loki in the first Avengers? Like whenever at the he, party. Like yeah, when yeah, whenever he's like. All right. <coughs> I dig that. Yeah, like green just, with the gold trim. Yeah, just just coming out like in that it's like a sweet suit with like a little like. Mm-hmm. Uh, with a real nice like matching cloak. I gotcha. Going with it. And I'm just gonna grab some of our, our nicest fashionable clothing that'll fit over my gear. Mm. Is Harriet's gonna be complete with uh, gloves and a little tiny purse? Of course. Okay, good. <laughs> a little tiny <laughs> purse. Yeah. With a uh, fur mm. fur trim, so there's still Harry pockets. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but the little or, purse can be for Popeye. Um, uh, ben, what color is it? <laughs> ben, they get you um, some things that are actually fur lined so that it, it, it blends with your wolf motif thing. Yeah. Um, and it, it works okay. It's it's obviously like not comfortable for you because yeah. you don't normally wear a whole lot Anything of, over uh, top of clothes of nothing. <laughs> there. Uh, so you're just kind of like walking around a little stiffly. like. So like and I'm not, I'm not so sure you aren't going to like this, but I'm going to have it Zora go around and press the digitation, all of you. I like to think it's kind of like oh, when you minutes. put okay. shoes on a dog, and it's like, <laughs> and it's like yeah. can't, it can't like <laughs> figure out how, how to walk again. Like, yeah. it's really, it's just, it's really weird. Or like kicks its feet out in front of it. Nothing looks yeah. natural. Yeah. Nothing about my movement looks natural. Um, I'm going to have Izora go around and get, use press digitation on everyone to get get them in its, like, clean. Okay. That's Pristine. Cool. Yeah. Clank, uh, do you, are you wanting to dress up for this party or shrink down to uh, fit in I want to actually have a, uh, please tell me how they have magnets, but like a magnet, like, bow tie. <laughs> Clank. Just, I'm sure that they do. Yeah, that's all I want to wear. That's it. <laughs> just throw them. That's it. You like pull the bow tie out of your pocket. And just, I like, like it. Shrink. I like it a lot. Yeah. And then maybe pants. I mean, we'll see. you can like <laughs> shrink <laughs> down <laughs> to your to your uh, foot tall size and like ride in, in, in Harriet's purse. Oh yeah. Uh, or, or in her pockets. Or, what about Popeye? Or my shoulder. Hmm? What about Popeye? Probably not gonna be in her shoulder. Oh, okay. I'll ride on his shoulder. Or. Uh, so he could the guy who looks awkward as fuck. There's just a little dude next to him. <laughs> so keep going forward. Clank can fit okay. in the purse though. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. you're no metal detector. You're like you're like the, the 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 like little cute dog. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're a purse dog. Purse dog. Uh, it's peeking out. Yeah. Where are we at? I'm hungry. We. <laughs> uh, this is a great time. Oh, actually, we got one more. Krishna. And I guess Quetzal. Um, what is your attire like for this party? I'm gonna keep my armor on. I'm just gonna stay in the periphery. That was doing my chef. You you do have very fanciful armor. I'm so just gonna have that works. Just gonna have my sister use prestidigitation, clean Make it up a little clean bit. Clean the I, I can blend in as a chef. <laughs> Well, well, no, I mean, you're invited to this party. Well, I get that. I'm just going to yeah. hang out. But you'll just be walking around with your finest food. chef coat. Yeah. Your chef put, I'll put on my, shot, my finest yeah, chef lights. With the poofy yeah. mushroom yeah. chef hat. Yeah. <laughs> you get it extra perfectly poofy and like... Yeah, Is like, that from the Muppets? Or yeah, the Muppets. Yeah. Yeah. The guy from the Muppets. Yeah. Yeah. The guy from the Muppets. Yes. The Swedish chef. Now. That is my favorite Muppet. We have every everything Swedish chef. prepped for yes. this party. And we are going... To take our first break. All right. Ooh, this is really strong. Ooh, it's not that bad. Mm-hmm. I already finished mine. Yes, it is. What are you drinking? 